In this video, I'm going to show how you can use Gizmo to visually debug your game. And I'll be using Gizmos in the next video where I'll be showing how ray casting works and how you can use it in your game. I have a simple scene set up here. So let's create our script and I'll be using script machine for this because it's going to be easier to see all the options that are available. And let's go to edit graph. So here we have a new graph, but I'll switch my view so that I can see the scene and the graph together. I won't be using on start or on update event. Instead, what I'm going to be using is on draw gizmo, this event right here. And you can use this event if you want to do a new visual debugging. Now the on draw gizmo event is also triggered when you're not running the game. So you can see that it's being triggered every so often. That means that I can just draw something here and let's draw a sphere, a radius of five. And there we go. We can see that we have drawn a sphere. The game is actually not running right now, but we can see the gizmos being drawn here. Now there's different things you can draw, but I'll be using a wireframe shapes. So wireframe sphere, if I set it to one and let's position the sphere to be at our position. So let's get position. If we set the center to the position of our cube, you can see that our sphere is around the cube now. We can also change the color of our object and we can do that by setting gizmo color. The color that is set before we actually draw the object is the color that is going to be used for that object. So if you want to change the color for other object, just change the color before drawing that object. So let's use some green like that and you can see that the color has changed. So that's just a quick example how to use gizmos. But like you said before, there's more things you can draw. So you have a cube, a wire cube, sphere and wire sphere I've demonstrated in this video. And then we have an ability of drawing a mesh or a wire mesh. And also we can draw an icon, draw a line or a ray. And you'll see me use some of these in the next video where I'll be demonstrating how to use ray casting. Don't forget to click on the like button and I'll see you in the next video.